So today we are going to discuss the new chapter that is called Dynamics of Fluid Flow. In this chapter, we are going to discuss the forces which are responsible for causing the motion of the fluid particle. This chapter includes the study of forces causing the motion. So important word is force here. In the last chapter, we have discussed in kinematics that the velocity components of the <coughs> fluid particles, right? But we have discussed all the things related to the motion of the fluid particle, but we have not discussed what are the forces which are responsible for causing the motion of the fluid particle. So particularly in this chapter, we are going to discuss the forces along with the motion of the fluid particle. So this chapter is called dynamics of fluid flow or you can say fluid dynamics. So the dynamic behavior of fluid flow is analyzed by Newton's second law of motion, very important. So the dynamic behavior of fluid flow is analyzed by the Newton's second law of motion, correct? So <coughs> you know what is Newton's second law, what is first law and what is third law. So just I am giving you a brief statement of the Newton's first law. Newton's first law is also called as the law of inertia. Newton's first law is also called as the law of inertia and it states that a body continues to be in its state of rest or of motion until and unless some external force is applied to it. Correct? So this is related to the inertia. Newton's second law. Newton's second law states about the forces, momentum. Correct? So it says that the rate of change of momentum is directly proportional to the force applied and the change takes place along the direction of the applied force. So what equation we can write from the Newton's second law? Force is equal to mass into acceleration. But what the statement says that the rate of change of momentum is directly proportional to the force applied and the change takes place along the direction of the applied force. If you are applying the force in the x direction, suppose fx, then your acceleration will be in the x direction, correct? So this is just the new mathematical relation from the Newton's second law of motion. And everybody knows that what is Newton's third law, correct? To every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. This principle is used in the rocket engines, correct? So next is So in this dynamics part of fluid, we are going to discuss what are the forces responsible for making a fluid into motion. We know that there are a lot of forces like pressure force, inertia force, gravity force, compressibility force, turbulence force, correct viscous force. So lots of forces are present here. But in this dynamics chapter, we are focusing on that type of forces which are a major component which helps a fluid to go into motion, correct? So let me write the all the forces first of all, what are the forces present in the fluid flow? There are so many forces, like vibration is also a type of force, but we are not going to discuss the vibration force because we are only going to discuss the forces which are present in a fluid flow, very important word, fluid flow. Following forces are present in a fluid flow. A most important gravity force, B pressure force, inertia force, compressibility force, A 
E viscous force etc so there are lots of forces present in a fluid flow okay so out of these forces which one is more important that i'm going to tell you and with the use of that important forces which are present in a fluid flow we are going to discuss the two important relation and you can say equation that is euler's equation of motion and bernoulli's equation of motion which is the main part of the fluid dynamics chapter the most important equation in this chapter is the bernoulli's equation and which we are going to derive from the euler's equation of motion so that before going to euler's equation of motion we should understand what are the two forces are which are present in a euler's equation of motion so first of all we are going to say what is euler's equation of motion so let me tell you that this gravity force and pressure force are the most important force which is which are present in a fluid flow and this is also the component of the euler's equation of motion so gravity force we can denote by f suffix g pressure force f suffix p like this you can f c compressivity force f v viscous force like this you can denote the different type of forces so now i'm going to write down the euler's equation of motion then i, I will explain you the different terms present in the euler's equation of motion and also what are the importance of the terms euler's equation of motion it is given by the do p by rho plus g dz plus v dv is equal to 0 so this is the euler's equation of motion this equation is important for the dynamics chapter but from the gate point of view this is not so important but we are always there is a problem with screen freezing here yeah it's okay so this euler's equation of motion is not so important from the gate point of view but bernoulli's equation is most important but bernoulli's equation is being derived from this equation only that is why we need to discuss about euler's equation of motion also so euler's equation of motion comprises of the pressure term you can see p is present here density and g dz v dv so velocity g this g is also related to the gravity and velocity pressure so i told you that pressure force and gravity force are the most important force which are present in a fluid flow so this is called euler's equation of motion very important equation euler's equation of motion in this the important part is that forces due to gravity and pressure are taken into consideration so what is the most important part of the euler's equation of motion is that they can ask you sometimes optional question as what are the two important forces present in a euler's equation of motion so in that case you have to write down the forces due to gravity and pressure are taken into consideration and rest all we are not taking into consideration for deriving the euler's equation of motion so there is no need to, to go for the detailed derivation just you should know what is the euler's equation of motion what are the terms present this is do p by rho this is pressure density acceleration due to gravity dz correct and v dv so this is just the euler's equation of motion in which gravity and pressure forces are taken into consideration next one is how to derive the bernoulli's equation of motion from the euler's equation so i'm giving the heading bernoulli's equation of motion from euler's equation how we can get the bernoulli's equation from the euler's equation of motion just by integration so integrating integrating euler's equation of motion we can get b i used to write bernoulli's equation as 
B in short form Bernoulli's equation. Correct? So just this is the Euler's equation of motion. Just integrate it. After integrating, you will get, <coughs> or I will write do P by rho plus integration of g dz plus integration of v dv is equal to zero. Correct? Or you can write constant. So what after integration it will become p by rho plus g z plus v square by 2 is equal to constant. Correct. So this is one form of the Bernoulli's equation. This is one form of the Bernoulli's equation. But this equation is very very important. The most important equation is this one only for this chapter. So what is the important part here? This Bernoulli's equation can be written in different forms in different units. So let me tell you about the Bernoulli's equation in detail, in different forms and different units. Correct? So I'm going to erase all the part and continue with this equation about the different terms, units and different forms of the Bernoulli's equation. Correct? So this is just the Bernoulli's equation after integration from the Euler's equation it is coming in this form this form can be modified in different units correct let me write the Bernoulli's equation in different forms <coughs>